In the previous video, we had seen about the sum of continuous functions under the topic of algebra of continuous functions. In this video, we are going to talk about the difference of continuous functions. Now again, the introduction is same. f and g are two real functions and they are continuous at x is equal to a. You know all this story from the previous video. Alpha be the real number. And now I am going to say that it is not f plus g that I am taking into consideration, but f minus g. That means the difference. And the difference is also continuous at x is equal to a. Now, whenever two functions are said to be continuous, that means what? That means their limit is equal to the value of the function at that point. That means limit gx at x tends to a and limit fx at x tends to a will be equal to g of a and f of a respectively from the previous video. We just have to prove something called as that f minus g is continuous at x is equal to a in this video. So let's do that. I know that this time I'm going to take into consideration limit x tends to a f minus g of x. If this is the scenario, I know that always in case of limits, you can separate. When you can separate, it becomes something like this. Limit x tends to a goes to both the functions. One time it is fx, one time it is gx. Now what is the value of this thing? Limit fx at x tends to a, it is f of a. And what about this thing? Limit gx at x tends to a is g of a. What other thing that you can do is, instead of writing f of a minus g of a, you can always write f minus g of a. That means what? That means you started with something called as limit in case of difference of functions and you reached where you reached the value of the function at that point in case of difference. You know that when limit is equal to value of the function, we say that it is the matter of continuity. So, when two functions are in difference form, they both were individually continuous, their difference is also continuous. 